guys, I'm Kate. Welcome back to my channel. So over the next couple of days, I'm going to be trying to figure out how I write best in theory. This experiment was actually chosen by my patrons over at Patreon. Several of them even suggested that I try this again once the world has sort of restored its order and then I can compare my coffee shop writing to my at home writing. <sighs> As some of y'all know I am waiting for the glorious day that I can go on an entire coffee shop tour of San Antonio so this is just giving me all the more reason to look forward to that. But for this month's experiment I'm going to be doing 30 minute writing sessions by hand, phone, normal writing, is the third one, aka just writing at my laptop, and voice to text. I know several people have wanted me to try a typewriter but I don't own one of those and they're pretty expensive so maybe in the future. Then the other part of this is I'm going to compare if I write the most efficiently computer typing, normal writing for me, during live streams outside with Duke, at my standing desk, or sort of here at my normal desk. Now to make sure there aren't any flukes I'm actually going to repeat this process once for each version. So in total I'll have 14 30 minute sprints as my data points. Now should you have more to make this a legit experiment? Yes. But personally I'm terrified of the idea of a single 30 minute writing sprint on my phone trying to type out my story let alone two, so there's definitely not gonna be any more. <laughs> Which actually brings us to right now, the start of the experiment. It is 12.32 and at 1 p.m. I'm actually going to go live for my weekly Camp NaNoWriMo patron live stream and I'm actually having a co-host for the first time, Jordan, so I'm really excited about that. But also, I usually do fun numbers for sprints, but I'm pretty sure I can convince them to do at least one 30 minute long sprint in order to help me out with this experiment. So let's get started. Here's the very super serious, uh, <laughs> 14 bullet point data system I have. Let us enter the broadcast studio. Oh wow, you already have so many people in here. Hooray, okay, awesome. Oh, I should add myself. And then I gotta invite Jordan. Yay! 30 minutes, this is the final sprint. Okay, everyone, hopefully you're ready. Jordan, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, on your mark, get set, right. All right, look at that whole chunk of words. So as I said on the live stream, that was... Oh, focus 784. It honestly wasn't until I was on the live stream and I was working in Murder Mystery Tennessee that I realized that I probably couldn't revise using these 30 minute sprints if I wanted to accurately test it because at least for Murder Mystery Tennessee, random scenes are way more done than others. So yeah, I wanted this to be as even a comparison as I could make it. So I'm thinking as long as it's zero draft or first draft words, I'll count it. So like tomorrow I'm doing my monthly write anything day. So those will be all zero draft words. So I think I can count both that and Meridian Maps number three together. And yeah, so those are gonna be my comparison stories. Uh -huh. But that does mean I should log this. While logging, I should also say that I found there were times during that where I was like, Ugh, my brain was not having it. I did type a lot in the chat. Like it was kind of nice to be able to go back to that because I didn't want to go anywhere else. I did look at my phone a little bit, but Oops. anyways, I think I learned for sure that 30 minutes is tapping out my attention span though. It's a good test, I guess, because you can always come back to things, but oof. <laughs> minute standing sprint. I got 612 points. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go for a run and then I'm going to test out the 30 minutes of the speech to text again. Because although I can do it in my room like I've done before, it would be so much more of a help if I could do it while I was out just walking. So we're gonna try. Whew. Thankfully I already picked out what scene I wanted to work on, so <sighs> yay. Just so everyone knows, the captain said, once you board this ship, you are making a promise. So, minus the naming, you know, it kind of worked. 
how did Annalisa escape? <laughs> Annalisa. There was no one around her. Had she left them? The water was too still. Okay, so here's the thing, right? Look at that. Sarah Sonline Shore. I'm going back to this does go really fast to do it on the phone, <sighs> but also there are so many errors. So I think if I, I'll try and correct it this time, like maybe I'll do 25 minutes, because my timer's still going, and then the last five minutes I'll take to make corrections, and we'll see how that goes for me. I got a plan, I'm a woman with a plan. Are you a puppy that's ready to write? Are you a puppy that's ready to write? Yeah, yeah. So I've been alternating what I've been working on during this project between like the short stories, Meridian Maps number three, and then I think I had one day where I was doing the write anything day and I worked on cult school. And it feels like it's been forever since I focused on first draft words. So this experiment has been really nice because I think it's showing me more of a balance that I could have. I think my whole no new story rule was good, you know, and I still like it. And obviously no new stories extended over to like sequels and trilogy in the five book series that is going to be the Meridian Maps. But I forget within that rule how much I really can still draft. Now the question is, do I work on the short story or do I work on Meridian Maps number three? We're gonna be writing a lot today because I have this right with Duke time and the birds apparently. I wanna do another one at my standing desk and then I have two live streams that I'm hosting today. So, it's gonna be busy. I think the shorts. See, the only problem with outside is I have hummingbird distractions too, besides just the Duke distraction. I did it. Duke shifted. So I stopped to watch him for a little bit. Oh, did he hear his voice? Oh, yes he did. All right, 433 words. The only downside to this is I'm not the most comfortable, but I love getting to see the little pupper. You can see that little red marks. Well worth it. Focus on him as we file, save, and close this. Y'all. Breakfast of champions. Let's go to the standing desk. You gotta put this on your... On my Instagram? <laughs> you cute. And she cute. My mug's cute. Yeah, that was the... I had to stop part of the way through to go to the bathroom, so I reset the timer with about 15 minutes because that's where I'd stopped at. So I'm now at 8.77, which I did a poor job recording of what I was at before because I'm working in the same short story. I will have to review the tape. <laughs> but it is 9.36. Which means I have about an hour and a half until my Patreon live stream where I will test again a full 30 minute sprint on the live stream. For some people in the stream, this has been great. For others, not so much. 30 minutes is a long time. I understand. All right, let's enter broadcast studio. I'm here. <laughs> Can we do a 3003? We're gonna do a 3003. I lied. Time! How did y'all do? I managed. Can you go scroll? 521 words. Hello. Welcome to my normal desk where we are finally going to sprint to see how many words I get not, you know, doing anything special. Admittedly, I've taken to doing these like hour work sprints, which is not quite the same as these 30 minute sprints, although it's actually more similar than I thought. Because what's happened I've noticed so far is that during these 30 minute sprints, I'm not actually trying to sprint. 30 minutes is still just too much for me to be going as hard as I can. So it's just 30 minutes of not doing anything else and just kind of sitting here if I need to sit here and writing when I can for the 30 minutes. That's what the hour long work sprints look like. The exception being that I will also allow myself to research stuff during the sprint if needed or make a note somewhere else. Like I'm not fully focused on drafting. 
which speaking of drafting let's pull up what i want to work on i think we're gonna do meridian maps the third and plant right in the middle of something so I actually hopped around scenes for the first time in a while so 605 in the 30 minutes but I'm going to finish this off real quick yay nope <laughs> so the other thing I want to distinguish is not that it was a hard and fast rule but it's something that I'm trying to take into account is how my morning brain compares to like my afternoon brain usually or when I've been working on other projects. I don't wanna do both of my control or normal sprints now. I wanna do one this afternoon when I've been working on stuff all day and just compare and see. That seems the most fair to me, knowing what I know about myself. But having looked at all of these numbers already, I already have my suspicions on how this is gonna go. It's just interesting. It's not what I expected at the start of this. <laughs> I have. A single cheese bread left from yesterday. And it is time to get my second sprint in on my phone. Which I should say that when I did this last time, much like the handwriting, except the handwriting is a little bit different because the handwriting did at certain points when I was like having like a whole bunch of ideas at once and I was trying to catch up, did hurt my hand. But generally I was kind of thinking and going with stuff and it didn't hurt. Like I would not want to do this always, but like a chill 30 minutes getting, how much did I get? 593 words. Really not that bad on the phone really not that bad. And again, it's not the medium I'm finding that's limiting me, which has been the shock. So a new Google Doc for this. Yes. <laughs> On your mark, get set. Kind of go. <laughs> the downside is this one doesn't have any fun sound. That's as close as I could get it to the mic and you still can't really hear anything. <laughs> All right, it is now 10.58 and I got 549 words. I always take a screenshot because I'm worried that I'm gonna lose it just in case Google Docs is weird though I've never had a problem. So 5.49. And look, I only need to do one more control and one more outside with Duke. It is a little bit rainy today so I might wait on the Duke one until this afternoon. This morning, I'm gonna be working at the table. Dang, little puppy was thirsty. Sprint. The water's come on. We're quickly evacuating. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Double coins and 514 words. 514, that is the last sprint I had to do, so it is time to corral all these stats. And the results are in. I added up everything and the way that I wrote best was actually my control or my normal, just me right here at my desk. With 1,309 words or averaging 654.5 words for the 30 minutes. The thing that I thought was so interesting is that that was basically on par with any of the times I've done like my 24 hour write-a-thons and I counted by the half hour. That's about what I get. Now, eventually on those 24 hour write-a-thons, my attention kind of wanes, but like if I'm doing well still, that's about how many words I can get in 30 minutes. So I feel positive about that. The worst one was actually outside with Duke where I got 947 words or 473.5 per 30 minute writing session. That's less than 200 words difference per writing session, which is absolutely nothing to sneeze at, but also feels like, again, cause this isn't the best experiment. <laughs> something that could like any other day be better or worse. The funny thing is these chunks. So you can see the shot of my stats. 
So a thing to note is that the live stream I think probably had one of the biggest differences in how I did with the 784 versus the 521, but it did come out to being just under my 1309 control setting. Then my phone texting, which I'm surprised by, 1,142 words for the total. Then standing desk with 1,056, handwriting with 1,022, the voice to text with 969, and then of course outside with Duke at 947. I think ultimately what's more important isn't necessarily how I did there, but how I felt. Like I mentioned when I was outside with Duke, when I was sitting on the ground, I did notice that I was kind of, you know, it wasn't the best on my back. There was some annoyance with the voice to text where I think I actually got more words, but sometimes it would shut off and I would not realize that it had shut off until it was a little bit too late. And then I had to backtrack what I was just saying. And that was a little confusing. And then of course the actual time to like fix all the errors. So, I think over time I'll get better at the voice to text and that's absolutely something that I want to incorporate more of. So that was another good lesson to learn from this. I find the live streams, we'll use my data points here because it had the biggest variance. That feels true. Live streams always kind of are hit or miss with me because there's some amount of pressure to stay focused. So if I have that pressure early on in the stream, sometimes I can get a lot done. Other times I get distracted with the chat. I've had times where like the stream was so busy with bots one time, I didn't get hardly anything done. I think that was also during the 24 hour run of thought. So it really does feel kind of hit or miss, but the plus side is that even with the miss, I have 521 words that time, again, nothing to sneeze at. Also, where did that saying come from and why do I keep saying it? I don't know. <laughs> the biggest thing I learned from this is kind of more or less how fast my brain works. None of the texting or even the handwriting or anything like that was a problem in the grand scheme of things. It's just that my brain can only go so fast when it's thinking about a story for a 30 minute time period. I did have a bunch of time within those, again, because I wasn't hard and fast sprinting the entire 30 minutes, where I was just sitting there thinking, mm, I did get distracted a couple times. But to be fair, now that I've done the hour work sprints, I've gotten a lot better about not getting distracted. So all of this feels like good things, yeah? <laughs> Please do comment down below. Let me know. I did seven different methods. I would love to know what seven different methods you might try. Would you sit outside with your dog and write? Do you have a standing desk? Or are you someone who likes to type your story up on your phone? I don't know. I would love to hear about it though. But that is going to be it for me. Thank you so much again to my patrons for choosing this. I had a lot of fun with this challenge and I feel like the data and the things I learned will be something that I continue to carry over, continue to kind of percolate over. Yes. And finally, also thank you especially to some of my new patrons this month. Judith B. Peach Tay, Kristen Kammer, Elizabeth Williams, Misty Southard, and Sandra Gioconti. And I will see y'all all very soon with a new video. Bye. Don't judge me. Okay. <laughs> my glasses keep randomly falling up. I think, ooh, can I get that?